Hello, hello. I am back, y'all. What? It's been months, you say? Yeah, we're just, you know, we're just not going to talk about that. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, so, hey, sorry I haven't made videos in a while. I've really wanted to with the last couple months. Just got super busy. Had to work a lot. Had to uh, deal with some family stuff. Just lots of lots of stuff happening, especially during the holiday season. So, um, I am... I promise you I'm going to get back to making videos, and this is my first effort of doing so. So, this information is going to come from a source that I referred to in my last Spider-Man video where I talked about the Sony and Disney deal uh, and how that was all happening and transpiring when Sony uh, was apparently going to rip Spider-Man from the MCU. This is going to come from the source Mikey Sutton, who I quoted regarding how the deal might possibly go down and what could happen in the future of Spider-Man with his... Um, TV and film rights, and yeah, so it's so here's what we got coming for us. So, as you may know, the Morbius trailer uh, has been released with Jared Leto playing Morbius, and it's been sparking some confusion because there were there were two things that were causing some confusion. One, at the very end of the trailer, Michael Keaton appears who. We have now confirmed that it, he is, in fact, Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture, who we saw in Spider-Man Homecoming, and that Morbius is officially connected to the MCU. Uh, dis there was a painting or a graffiti or whatever on a wall in the background of one of the shots of the Morbius trailer that showed Spider-Man, and it had the word murderers written across it, which references Far From Home, and that's a direct connection to the movie. The only problem with that was that the design was from the PS4 variant, uh, or just at least rendering, of the Sam Raimi Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit. So everyone was confused as to what this meant and why it wasn't just Tom Holland Spidey, especially now since it's connected to the MCU via, uh, via the Let It Far From Home reference. <laughs> so to explain that, Mikey Sutton has given us information about how Marvel and Sony are hand handling this. So Kevin Feige has said that adding Tom Holland in the background of the trailer would have been a bridge too far, and that on a case-by-case -case basis, Sony can now make a connection. Well, this is not uh, this is Mikey Sutton speaking, not Kevin Feige anymore. Kevin Feige said a bridge too far. Uh, Mikey Sutton has told us that on a case-by-case -case basis, Sony can now make a connection to the MCU in their own productions, but in limited doses. Thus... Michael Keaton, and the Spider-Man references in the background. However, it's not going to be... The MCU movies themselves are not going to reference the Sony movies. It's going to be a similar deal like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was to the MCU before. And as much as I love that show, it just wasn't ever directly connected, and the Avengers never actually learned that Phil Coulson was alive. So, uh, that's, so interestingly enough, that's how it's going to go down. And for going further, uh, according to Mikey Sutton, Marvel Studios and Disney and Sony relations are rock solid, quote unquote. Um, yeah, so it looks like the future of Spidey is secure for now, if not rocky. But hopefully we're going to be seeing some awesome Spidey content in the future, which I'm actually about to talk about because we have some really cool stuff potentially coming. Uh, so. Marvel Studios and Disney are extremely interested in doing a live-action Spider-Verse movie, like the animated one we just had, where Tom Holland meets Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Obviously, this is a crazy idea and would, would take a whole lot of planning, but it would be absolutely amazing. And uh, while I prefer Tom Holland to the rest... It would be really cool to see the rest of them on screen. That would, that would just be a fantastic idea. But the idea is still in the infantile stage. It is very, very, very early works, and we do not know of anything about it. Because right now, Marvel is focused on Spider-Man 3, how they're going to react with the Far From Home ending, and potentially the connections to Morbius. <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, so it's going to be... We have some really cool stuff potentially coming in the future. More Spidey-esque news. Um, Marvel Studios 
obviously loves a lot of the Spider-Man mythos characters, one of them being Gwen Stacy. And Gwen Stacy has now been used in both of the previous uh, Spider-Man uh, franchises. He, She was in Spider-Man 3, used very weakly. Bryce Dallas Howard is a fantastic actress, and, but the movie itself is just absolutely terrible, and uh, there was just way too much in the movie, and her character in that movie was kind of pointless, a pointless side character only to cause drama. So, And then in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, she, uh, Emma Stone, I'm not going to lie, I've adored Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy in those movies, because... And, and not to mention Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone's chemistry was just fantastic. But uh, they think that uh, Gwen Stacy has not been given the best treatment in these movies. She's been seen as more of a side character. And if you know comics, then you know that in the comics, Gwen Stacy in an alternate universe becomes Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. Um, but actually in her own comic series, she ends up being called the Ghost Spider or just Ghost Spider. Um but, you know, people affectionately call her Spider-Gwen. It's fun. So, they are, the uh, Marvel Studios is extremely interested in making her her own solo movie in the MCU. And she would be working alongside various young Avengers. Meaning, new recruits for the Avengers. Uh, which, <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Which means an awesome future for the Avengers is coming. Um <laughs> So, yeah, we have a lot of Spider-Man news that is, it's very exciting. Um, and so our, the last bit of news is not necessarily Spider-Man related, but connected because of Morbius. So, as we know from last summer, uh, it was announced that Marvel Studios is developing a Blade film because Mar Mar Marshala Ali uh, called Kevin Feige and said, I want to play Blade and... I mean, are you going to turn down a double Oscar winning actor to play an awesome character? No, you're not. So <laughs> so they decided they're going to make Blade with him and they're going to develop more into that side of the mythos by trying to create the Midnight Suns. And if you know about the Midnight Suns, they're a very mystical group with of many of mystical origins such as Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider. And in this version... Uh, Blade would potentially create a team with himself, of course. Uh, Moon Knight, who we know is getting a Disney Plus series. Uh, the Man Thing. The Johnny Blaze version of Ghost Rider. And Hellstrom. The last two are actually interesting because they were both supposedly going to get... Uh, or technically, uh, Ghost Rider was supposed to get a Hulu show. Um, with the Gabriel Luna version who plays Robbie Reyes. Uh, but that show kind of fell apart, and the only thing left on the Hulu horror aspect of Marvel is Hellstrom. But there hasn't been a ton of word on that, at least not yet. So there's, it's going to be interesting to see how all that progresses, but we're, I guess we'll just find out. <laughs> um, I am very excited for the potential of a Midnight Suns movie and it could potentially just delve into the horror aspect of some of these characters, which I don't like horror. I'm a scaredy cat, but I think it's I'm going to go see them regardless because they're all awesome characters, and I would absolutely love to see this happen. And finally, uh, Marvel Studios wants Morbius to meet Blade in the Midnight Suns film that they want to make, um, which means that Morbius might not just be a Spider-Man adversary, uh, or something like that. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, it regardless of whether or not he is an adversary in a main Spider-Man movie, because th maybe there's the potential he could be in a Sinister Six film, but I guess we'll see how the Morbius movie happens and uh, how well it does. But they want Morbius to meet Blade for a Midnight Suns film, which could pit them against Mephisto, essentially the Marvel Comics version of the Devil, and the Marvel Zombies, who we've already heard will probably be making at least a appearance in an episode of Marvel's What If on Disney+. Plus, Because the What If series on Disney+, Plus is essentially Marvel's opportunity to do whatever the heck they want with their earlier work. They can change everything, they can do fun little side stories, 
what if uh the what if the super soldier serum was taken by peggy what if uh what what if spider-man used the infinity gauntlet like all these different possibilities within the mcu that obviously never happened could happen in this but it's going to be animated uh and the all the actors for all their roles are going to be returning to their characters just to voice them which is fantastic so the fact that we might see a marvel zombies uh iteration in that is fantastic and the fact that we might actually even see that live action would be even crazier because seeing zombie versions of characters alive and dead would be a mind blower <laughs> because it would mean that maybe Mephisto has been keeping an eye on the Avengers or something like who knows why that would happen. But <laughs> uh, anyway, I am super excited for all of this and I really hope that it all just works out and that there's no problems between Marvel and Sony. Apparently their relationship is rock solid. So we shall see how that all turns out. Yeah. Thank you for listening guys. And, um, I promise you I'm going to be making more of these videos soon. Um, I I really want to make a big video regarding the Marvel Universe or MCU timeline. I've been planning for that for almost a year now. Uh, it's coming, I promise. It's a, just a huge undertaking, so just give me some time. I'll get working on it. And I will also try to make some other news-esque videos or maybe even more of my Let's Play Gaming videos, so... Thank you so much for listening. Uh, welcome back to Downloadable Connor, and I hope you have a great day, guys. Peace.